Hey, it's John Horn back again. Uh, so, in a previous video, I discussed doing this one, two, three, four exercise where you just all of your fingers in order, and then on the way back down, four, three, two, one. That's very close to what's called a chromatic scale. Chromatic scale is where you play all the notes without missing any. Probably the easiest way to visualize it would be if you were to start on an open string and just simply play every single note without missing any until you reach the octave again. Obviously, that's not the greatest fingering in the world. There's probably other things you can do. This is close to chromatic. But when we switch strings, we're actually missing a note. A chromatic note would be back a fret. Okay, and that's true for every string except for strings two and three. The interval between those two strings is a major third. So actually, if you go one, two, three, four, one, you actually are going chromatically there. So here's a really cool pattern. I forget, I'm sure, I didn't make this up. I forget where I learned it, but it's a great way to practice the chromatic scale is to start by playing one, two, three, four, and we'll start at the fifth fret like we did before on that A, and then reach back a fret and start at the fourth, fourth fret on the fifth string. Reach back again to the third fret. This is good for your stretching. Reach back to your second fret. And let's stop right there for a minute. That is one octave. There's 12 notes in an octave, and we just played four notes on three strings. So there's 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 octave back to the beginning. And then when we do the next three strings, we'll get another octave worth of notes. Here we go. Starting again on the third string, second fret. This is the next A. Okay, now don't reach back between two and three. Reach back to one. And then to get that octave, we'll slide up on our pinky finger. And that's another. Or I guess if I reach over here, here's A, so the a we started on, A in the middle, and then finally the high A. So the whole thing going up ascending will be fourth fret, third, second, stay on second, first, and slide up. Now, going back down, it's going to be a little different pattern. We're going to go four, three, two, one, but instead of going back to the first fret, we're going to stay right here at the second, and we're going to reach out with our pinky, the way we reached out with our index finger on the ascending passage. This time, excuse me, we'll always be reaching out with the pinky. So four, three, two, one, reach out to the sixth fret. Okay, now again, we're staying on the same fret. So six, reach out to the seventh fret. Four, three, Reach out to the eighth, four, three, two, one. Reach out to the ninth, two, one. And then you slide down and you're back to where you started from. So the entire exercise, going from the lowest note up to the high end, your pinky, and then back down, reaching out on almost every string except for between the second and third strings, will sound like this. Later, in another video, I'll show you how to expand this into a three-octave scale and how you can move around the fingerboard a little more and play all the way from the very lowest note to potentially the highest note you have on your guitar, which may vary depending on what kind of guitar you have. Uh, okay, thanks so much for watching Practice Your Chromatic Scale, and uh, I'll be back. Thanks.